Windy weather will continue into Tuesday with a strong southeast expected in Cape Town. The South African Weather Service is warning against near gale for southerly winds along the west coast and also a fresh to strong southwesterly wind spreading along the east coast, later reaching KwaZulu Natal. And this easterly wind also results in a dusty conditions as well as a berg wind for parts of the west coast as well as the Makwalan. So we know it's going to be windy, but can we expect any rain on Tuesday? Let's look at the forecast. Looking at our synoptic analysis, we've got a cold front moving over KwaZulu Natal on Tuesday, but this strong ridging high is creating a steep pressure gradient along the coast that's responsible for the strong winds and also responsible for the southeast in the mother city. We are expecting light showers at first along the coast, only light when possible in the eastern Cape as well as KwaZulu Natal, and drizzle spreading along the eastern escarpment on a Tuesday. And then very early, there's the possibility of more light snowfall over the mountainous areas of the eastern Cape and the southern Jarkensburg. It's windy in the western Cape, and we're expecting a southeaster to pick up along the coast, turning southerly for the west coast. And it's still quite chilly with only 18 degrees in Cape Town and 17 in Hermanus, also reaching 18 in Worcester and Robertson after a cold morning. An icy onshore flow will continue to cool down the southern parts of South Africa. Only 14 degrees in Plettenberg Bay, a few cloudy conditions expected, and icy morning for the interior of the Karoo. And then maximum temperatures only expected to reach the lower to mid teens, reaching a high of 11 in Kumani. A southwesterly wind picking up along the coast of the Eastern Cape and later blowing fresh to strong along the coast of KwaZulu Natal, pushing in much colder conditions, mostly cloudy to partly cloudy. A few isolated showers expected, otherwise, only cold with maximum temperatures in the lower to mid-teens. Much colder conditions also reaching Pumalanga. Light rain spreading along the eastern escarpment with only 12 the afternoon in Ermelo. It's also a colder day, a fall in Popo becoming cloudy with light rain along the eastern escarpment. But then winds are turning northeastly for the bushveld and warming up the temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. It's a sunny and dry day for northwest, slightly cooler in the western areas with temperatures in the lower 20s. And then an icy southeasterly wind turning westerly on a Tuesday in the northern Cape could result in a few dust storms, especially over the coastal areas and in Namakwa land. Much colder over the southern and western parts of the Free State. Temperatures remaining below 20, reaching only 19 in Bethlehem and becoming a cloudy later over the eastern areas. But a mainly a sunny day for Halting. Winds are turning northerly with 23 degrees in Johannesburg, becoming partly cloudy and 25 in Victoria. And then into Wednesday, an upper level chart extending over the west where we can expect a few thunderstorms to move over parts of the northern Cape. Overnight into the first day of meteorological spring, we are expecting a band of cloud with isolated showers and thunderstorms to spread over the western interior, later reaching the eastern Cape and the wild coast. Still windy along the coast and sunny over the eastern areas with berg winds heating up the southern coast. Well, that's all from me and remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.